As downtown Brooklyn continues to grow as New York City's third largest business district, the Long Island Railroad is rebuilding the Atlantic Avenue Viaduct to meet the expanding needs of its riders. It's going through periodic maintenance and upgrades throughout the years. Uh, this is our first time we're going to do an extensive rehabilitation. We're going to work all the way from Ralph Avenue on the east end all the way west towards Nostrand Avenue. It's a multi-phase project. Uh, three projects actually will uh, take place and uh, we're actually replacing the entire superstructure, track structure and utilities that go along with it. Built in 1901, the viaduct is approximately 8,100 feet long and 26 feet wide. It transports over 40,000 customers to downtown Brooklyn on a weekly basis. Interestingly enough, the Long Island Railroad's origins are in Brooklyn. Uh, so despite the fact that people think of Long Island as perhaps just two counties, Nassau and Suffolk, geographic Long Island includes Suffolk, Nassau, Queens, and Brooklyn. The rehab of the viaduct, which started in 2008, is expected to be finished in 2011 and is a monumental undertaking. The uh, viaduct spans come out a piece at a time, typical for every span, and they go back in a piece at a time and we build on top of the previous span. We actually do approximately six to eight spans a weekend, and what happens is uh, we come in on Friday night, uh, railroad forces remove all the track, and the uh, contractor then comes in and cuts out old sections of viaduct, loads them onto trailers, we take them away. Uh, about Saturday morning, contractors back with new spans being installed. Spans are typically about 40 feet long. They weigh on average about 50,000 pounds. Uh, that's about equivalent to about 12 automobiles. Well, all the steel that they take away uh, for uh, removal and replacement is taken to a recycler. It's uh, melted down and turned into new structural steel. Uh, the majority of the steel in this country is actually recycled from various sources. When it comes to the rebuilding of this man-made structure, not even Mother Nature can slow down production. It's not glamorous, it's the plumbing underneath that not everybody gets to look at. It was important for us to renew this infrastructure and make the investment that will continue this service into the future.